traditions 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 have you ever heard about the apostolic tradition the apostolic tradition this this phrase apostolic tradition is not found in the bible but uh, the term is used to refer to the teachings of the apostles uh, passed down to the church and according to the roman catholic church apostolic tradition is the transmission of the message of christ uh, brought uh, uh, about from the very uh, beginnings of Christianity by means of preaching, bearing witness, ins- instructions of worship and inspired writings. And the apostles transmitted all they received from Christ and learned from the Holy Spirit to their successors uh, who are the bishops and uh, through them to all generations until the end of the world. All right, And among Catholics, Apostolic tradition is seen as a special revelation of God, distinct from the written word that the apostles passed down to the early church, and it is an authoritative supplement to the scripture. Now listen to what the Bible says in the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 15. All right? 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 15. It says, Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which have you have been taught whether by word or by our epistle hmm all right okay now let's see this word a, a tradition has been mentioned in some translation therefore hold fast all right to the traditions which have been taught hmm now this simply i want to clarify this one to all of you that it is simply means teachings and Paul cites both his oral teaching and his written epistles as authoritative for the church. And there is nothing here, though, that uh, would suggest apostolic succession or a lasting uh, body of oral tradition distinct from the written word. Paul, who had been teaching for many years, therefore, he wrote any epistles simply saying that uh, his previous instructions delivered in Thessalonica were to be followed, as were those contained in his first letter to them. In other words, Paul is saying, hold fast to what I directly taught you guys. Now, I want you to put this one clear, because there are some people who think, oh, but uh, we have to follow some tradition, some, some ritual, some things which are being taught out of the context of the Bible. Now, let's look at that verse. What was Paul really meaning here? He was basically saying, hold fast to what I directly taught you, whether I said it when I was with you or I wrote it after I left. He's not talking about how I behaved, how I was sitting down, how I was waking up, how I was lighting candles. No. He's saying to what I taught you when I was with you directly or when I wrote letters to you later on. You see, what Paul had taught the Thessalonian church can be found in the Bible. There is nothing that teaches acceptance of indirect teaching, traditional, which is attributed to the apostles. No, look at that verse very clearly. 2 Thessalonians 2.15 Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which have been taught, whether by word or by experience. What, what does by word mean? By word means the ones that I was teaching you in person. By word, I was speaking my word there and then. And also by experience means later on, when I was not with you, when I was just writing letters. St- stand with it. And... Uh, Likewise, when Paul instructed Timothy to pass his teachings uh, on to others, he was not referring to an oral transmission of traditions to be passed during the early church period. Here is what he said. You have heard me teach things that have been confirmed by many reliable witnesses. Now teach these truths to other trustworthy people who will be able to pass them on to others. 2 Timothy 2.2 2. And the truths that Paul taught refer to the teachings that now can be found in the corpses of his writing which occupy the 13 of the 27 books of the new testament although christian creeds and the writings of the early church fathers do have value and can be used as uh, secondary sources in studying biblical issues the bible alone is the only authoritative book in a christian's life men like uh, 
Irenaeus and the origin uh, provided insight into the teachings of the early church, but their writings are not inspired and some sometimes even contain faulty theology. In contrast, scripture contains what the apostles explicitly passed down from the uh, instructions and teaching of the church. And even Jesus himself, he, taught, he, he asked the Pharisees, you want to let go of the word of God for your traditions? Your traditions? For real? You see, there's one thing just uh, following traditions and following the word of God. And the traditions is basically things we can say like how the people behaved and, uh, you know, this is what they did. This is, uh, if it's not written in the Bible as, as a way that we should behave, then uh, it's not authoritative. We don't have to know what time Paul was waking up so that we wake up uh, during the same time as Paul. We don't need to understand how many times Paul used to take a shower when he was traveling so that we do the same traditions. We don't have to understand that Paul used to light a candle in his house or was, did he have a lamp so that we can follow the same. You see, those traditions is, is not exactly the... You see, people are teaching other things. Our main point of authoritative... Uh, understanding of the word of God should only be from the Bible, the scriptures, not from maybe something else which is not written in the Bible. All right? If there's any extra material that you, you may need to do an extra understanding or study, like the way we say, maybe you hear people talking about the book of Enoch, the book of Joshua, and things like that. Those are extra biblical Bible, I mean, books. That should only be read with a pinch of salt. I'm not saying that people should not read them, but read them with a pinch of salt. And they should never contradict the scriptures, the 66 books of the Bible. They should never contradict. So if they contradict, then uh, something is wrong. All right? So, scripture contains what the apostles ex explicitly passed down for the instruction and teaching of the church right like number one of course that jesus died for our sins was buried and rose again first corinthians 15 1 through 4 that's one of the things that uh, explicitly was taught by the uh, apostles and also second timothy uh, 3 16 to 17 it tells us that all scripture is given by inspiration of god every point of the scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness that the man of God may be perfect thoroughly furnished into all good works. Alright? And also 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 16 says, For we have not followed cunningly devised, uh, devised fables when we made known to you the power and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ but who are eyewitnesses of his majesty the apostles are saying, we were not cunning, we were not fishy, but we were eyewitnesses. We saw Jesus before he died. We saw him at the cross and we saw him after the cross. All right? So we are witnesses of this. And that's why we are telling you these things, okay? And also, Second uh, um, Peter chapter 1, verse 20 to 21, it says, Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Why, why is he saying this? Because there are people who will come and say, uh, let me interpret for you. No, you see, this verse doesn't really mean that Jesus died for you. You see, Jesus is not really God. He was not really manifest in the flesh. You see, there are people who will try to interpret to you. But the Bible says nothing of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Once you have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will teach you all things. Once you get saved, that's it. You will understand the word of God clearly. And he says in verse 21, For the prophecy came not in all time by the will of man, by, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. So the same Holy Spirit is in you now, and he can teach you all these things. He can be able to tell you this is right, this is wrong, this is what the Bible meant here, and this is what it did mean here. And salvation is all by coming to the knowledge, the knowledge of who God is. And come into the knowledge of this understanding. And that's the most beautiful things, my friends. I can tell you, 
that's the most important thing there's nothing as good as knowing who god is and what he has planned for you and what he wants for you and uh, all those kind of promises that he has set for us that's that's the most beautiful thing that we can always cling on all right we can cling on to that because we do not need oral tradition passed down through the first few centuries of the church history just the same way if i tell you right now i i i whisper to your ear and i tell you that uh, uh, uh just tell the next person that uh, he's a good person the next the next person tells the other one okay show, t- tell the other person what you've had and you go all the way maybe a hundred people whispering to the ear by the time the hundredth person gets the information it will only just it will not be you're a good person it will be i want to marry you <laughs> it will be something totally a bit more weird and different because people distort words as the days go on that's why it has to be documented in paper so if it is oral do you expect from 2000 years ago almost 2000 years ago people are still saying the same thing which was spoken by the apostles no <laughs> they already remixed it that's why the catholic church is is now talking about lighting candles and then let's do this and then there's purgatory why did paul talk about purgatory why did they talk about uh, making idols and making images of jesus and mary and praying to the saints where did that tradition come from distortion distortion confusion all right so despite the belief of the catholic church the authoritative teachings of the apostles are found solely in the scripture not in any apostolic tradition and christians do do not have to turn to early church writings to read and interpret the bible reading creeds and the works of the people like uh, papias or clement of rome can be insightful yes but such works should not be viewed as authoritative in setting a christian faith and doctrine only believe what is from the bible anything else take with a pinch of salt and that's the end of our today's bible study lesson hope it was a blessing to you hope you did learn something and remember you can always download this podcast to listen later offline or to share to your friends and family and don't forget to favorite our podcast and subscribe to our channel so that you can always be notified whenever we post a new bible study lesson if you like to get saved or you need a step-by-step bible verses on the order of salvation so that you can well preach to your friends or family or maybe just uh, f- uh, feel led to support our ministry or buy some cool christian merchandise kindly visit our website keithmuwaki.com for more details and breakdown otherwise i hope to see you soon in the next one